you made a film, the two of you, that was very graphic in its depiction of what it's like to be a paraplegic. From catheters coming in his penis to talking about erection to all the other emotional issues he felt as a man in a wheelchair. I mean, and you were really graphic. This was not like no holds barred in many ways when it came to describing what his life was like. I mean, A, I'm interested in your, that, that effect on you and, how, and also how Thomas felt about having his life laid out there like that. Well, Phil was very committed to showing his truth, his reality, and the, the bodily functions were part of that story. And if you see someone in a wheelchair, you don't think about everything else that's going on. But because we were able to spend a lot of time with Thomas, he became more comfortable and he began to see the reason why it would be good to show certain things. Um, but we also filmed those things that you know you refer to as so graphic at times where Thomas or and his, his mother in one scene are in control. So they've reached the point where they can actually laugh about this stuff. So you've got a very tragic thing going on, but you've got humor too. Mm -hmm. And that's where mm -hmm. Thomas can tra transcend any blow that's dealt to him. Is that he's he's hysterically funny. I mean, he's I knew very funny. on our first <laughs> visit to see him when he said to me, you know, uh, soldiers voting for Bush is like chickens voting for Colonel Sanders. You know, he was all doped up on a thousand drugs, but he still he had this wit and humor. So there's that part of the film too that that, that lifts us up from. Uh, Tragic moments. Mm -hmm. People have said to me that some of the scenes in this film make them wince. And you know, we want to know why they're not wincing at all these young bodies coming home, sometimes in a pine box, and other times just horribly injured, catastrophically injured. Nobody's wincing about that. And we think more, we think the country should be wincing. And if they aren't, it's because they don't see this. They're not seeing this. Corporate media, the, the target of the uh, grassroots media reform people who march under the banner, corporate media is ruining democracy. And boy, they'll give you a long speech about why. And they're informed and they're wonderful. Uh, that's, these are just, you know, corporate media doesn't want to show this. It's not good for business.